to be here today. I want to all of you to celebrate this is the third Republic of India. Friends, I want to congratulate all of you and the entire Indian American community in Richmond area and in Virginia on the 63rd Republic Day of India. I am here on behalf of the Embassy of India in Washington DC representing the Ambassador. And I bring to you and I bring to you the good wishes of the people of India. Friends, today we are celebrating 62 glorious years of the Republic of India. We are also on this occasion celebrating the spirit of global India. That means all of you. The Indian diaspora is a large community of more than 25 million people all over the world. They are truly global in distribution and global in outflow. And today is the fitting moment to remember the contribution of this community to wherever they have gone. The Indian American community, which is more than 3 million people, has contributed a lot to the US and to India. And we celebrate that success. Increasingly, the Indian American community is also contributing to the bilateral relations between India and the USA. There are many occasions when the Indian American community is largely responsible for moving forward in the bilateral relations, whether it was the nuclear deal or the increasing trade between India and USA, Indian community always plays a vital role. Therefore, I want to say that people-to-people -people contact between India and USA, they remain strong because of you. And the government of India is aware of it. And government of India recognizes it. And I want to also say that the Indian American community, the global Indian community all over the world, the Indian diaspora, is not, is not alone in this. The government of India is a part of it. I, I want to inform all of you about the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs, which, is, which was one of the first ministries in the world to be set up by a country to deal with the, its overseas population. The, overseas, the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs has several programs and several institutions which the Indian American community can really make use of in dealing with India. This ministry has the Overseas Citizenship Citizenship of India card scheme, OCI card scheme, to facilitate the movement. It has a No India program for facilitating visits by the young overseas Indians to India in order to expose them to the reality and conditions of India today. It has a scholarship program. It has several other programs. I would advise and I would, I, I would like to mention that there is a website, moia 
www.gov.in Kindly visit the website for more details. We do not have time enough uh, today to discuss the details about the programs, but maybe we can have a separate program for that. I also want to mention that for facilitating the economic engagement of the Indian diaspora with India, the ministry has set up an overseas Indian facilitation center. It is a great institution which can be contacted and any information or assistance can be sought on dealing with India in economic terms, whether it is investment in portfolios, stock market, business, we want to set up a business in India or property matter, whatever. Similarly, the ministry has set up an India Development Foundation to deal with the philanthropic activities of the Indian diaspora. Anyone who wants to contribute back to India, to his village or his town or anywhere, can make use of the platform of IDF because it will help you in getting exemptions from tax, exemption from FCRA, access to credible NGOs in India who can implement and monitor your projects. So, IDF is another great institution. There are several other initiatives of the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs which you would uh, have the information about on the website myal.gov.in. So again, I want to say that I am very happy to be here amongst all of you and I congratulate on behalf of the Embassy of India on the 63rd Republic Day of India. Thank you very much for having me.